I want to make my own AI, make it detect uh, flower images, and make it in C sharp. Launch my ID, create a new project, download the ML.NET package. And now what do I do? Find a random tutorial. Machine learning. Waste an hour trying to download the dataset. But finally I found it. Blog post under the video, Microsoft article references in the blog, random TensorFlow link, article on loading and pre-processing images, random Google link inside the code snippet. We now have a download with flower images. Now let's get started. So first I'm going to add a new machine learning model, an image classification for CPU. You can see my RAM here, GPU has errors, so CPU it is. Next, then I'm going to select my data folder. You can see 3670 images here. Then I press a magic button. So while this is training, I'm going to eat some crisps. And we now have the results here. The training took 5 minutes and the accuracy is 88%. I later rerun the training and gain 91% accuracy, which is a 3% improvement overall. Here we can evaluate our model. And we can see that it shows correctly all the time. And as it comes to training the model, that's basically it. Now we just have to integrate it into a nice user interface. All right, but before we start with coding, let's quickly break down what machine learning is and how it works. As I'm recognizing flowers, imagine this. You're teaching a human to recognize different flowers. At first, they have no idea what flower is that. So you show them a bunch of pictures and say, this is flower A, this is flower B. And over time, our brains start recognizing patterns, colors, and shapes. And eventually, we can point out what flower is that on our own based on those factors. In human words, that's how machine learning works, but instead of a human, we're teaching a computer. In our case, I showed my model three and a half thousand labeled images, and ML.NET showed it to my program and did the teaching. The algorithm looked at the images, adjusted itself, and after enough training, we got 91% accuracy. Okay, let's get to coding some sort of user interface. Okay, so this is the code that ML.NET generates for us to use our model. It's pretty simple, but it does the job. Ignoring the strange numbers, we have 98% confidence for Daisy. Now I did some, let's call them small modifications. And well, it didn't go that well. And well, I tried my best, but I literally just got nothing in the consoles. I also ran into some technical problems later, so I had to create a new project and retrain the model, but that did increase the accuracy by 3%. It turned out that I shouldn't have tried to make my own code, and after I just started modifying the code from this tutorial I watched, shout out, very good tutorial, things started working out. Here you can see that I got the name of the flower. And yeah, this is theory of dandelion, I'm not an expert, but I know that. But the next thing I want is the confidence score, and I found a score variable. So that's the next thing I console printed, and we can see yeah, a small problem, but after fixing it, we have a strangely small number. So I checked and it turned out this is a list. So I added a loop that console writes every single confidence score. 
Thanks to this, we can see we have five of them, and this looks more believable, but it's still under one. So let's bring this to percentages. But this is a very good start. And after I could correctly format the text, I can just slap it on a nice user interface from the thumbnail because you know, no clickbait is allowed here. So I added the flower names. And we now have the names of the flowers. I also remembered how to convert numbers to percentages, so I multiplied it by 100 and just uh, add the percentage symbol. And that's the easiest way to do it here. And if we look at this, this does look very nice, but still the numbers are big. So let's use in the C sharp math rounding function and round it off. So I did just that, and here you can see it's rounded off. Hello, it is the next day, and as you can see, I did some, let's call it off-camera work, and I made a UI where I can click, and that will tell me the percentages and what flower it thinks it is. Now, I do have to make some small cosmetic changes like moving the labels, and to recreate the thumbnail even better, I want to make it so that the color of the font changes to be darker based on the percentage. So the one that it's most confident is going to be white and the one that's going to be low confidence is going to be gray, light gray. So yeah, that will take a bit. I won't show it here because it's just a lot of if statements copy and pasted around. So I'll just make this awkward cut. Here we go, test an image. So you can see here that we have some random values that are just pre-assigned and you can see that one is white and the rest is gray. The final thing I've been working on is to underline the flower that the machine learning model thinks is the correct option. Just as another visual indicator. Well, it's finally time. Here is my program, and here is my thumbnail. And as you can see, we successfully recreated it. And here, when I select an image, you can see it's a dandelion, and yeah, it updates the UI. Let's test this tulip, also very nice. I'm very happy with the state of this project. I learned a lot. And it was really fun creating this image detection program. Thank you for watching.